Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Mike Siegel and today I'm playing some more Euro Truck Simulator 2. On the previous episode, I'll show you on the map we drove on the southern map. It's a map mod that sort of creates a lot of the region in Russia or Ukraine, Tiberia. And we took some cauliflower from Mancon. I'm not the best at pronunciation, as you can probably tell, but we took it from Mancon. We're almost at the ferry now. We've got a bit of a windy road before we get there. But part two is going to see us go back to back to Greece and then all the way to the Middle East where we've got a little bit of a journey. We go past Jerusalem and then we can drop off the cauliflower in Engidi. So let's get on the road, shall we? So let's get straight into it. Hopefully you enjoyed the previous episode, or if you haven't, the link is in the description to the to part one of this little little road trip. Whoa! What happened just there? <laughs> Saw something in front of me. It was a, it was like a trailer, but without an actual. Whoa! See it like that? Trucks are just disappearing. I bet this one disappears. What the hell? That must be from map mod, the southern map. Obviously it's a mod so it's not the base game, not from SCS software who usually make this game. It's not it's not them who's made it, so Yeah, as I say, things are a bit on towards on this map. But soon we'll be going over to the Pro Mods map, which I think is a really high quality map mod, so that's gonna be interesting to see going around the Middle East, which I've never done before on Pro Mods. I never knew it existed until was downloading the map mod so yeah I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to taking you on the journey with me and to try and get across. I couldn't tell if he was going off at the same exit or not. The little purple machine. Anyway it's a it's a pretty brand new profile base. As you can probably see I've not got that much money whatsoever. I'm just taking it easy. I'm trying not to get too many fines. But as you saw in the previous episode, we pretty much crashed it going around some windy hills. And look at the map here, look at the map down here. We've got some very windy roads, like going backwards and forwards. So hopefully, it's not too tight, these corners. But let's have a look, shall we? Oh, this is quite tight. I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad that truck in front is, wasn't on that corner at the same time as me. <laughs> Was it after like emergency break? Wow, look at that view. Must be for uh, port down there where I'm going to to get my ship, my ferry across. Absolutely beautiful. Getting so lucky with these trucks for meeting me at the perfect time. <laughs> Rather than down on these tight corners. I better have jinxed myself seeing that, yeah. It's a bit tight. Wait, how how is everyone being? Hopefully alright. I wonder if any of you have played Joe Truck much before, if you're sort of not new to the game. We played map mods before. The map mods are like really high quality, I think. I'm surprised. We had a lot of the game. I want to try some other mods. Wow. This road is even more glitty glittery than previous episodes. Hobo Genie. Bit of a random little sign, but good few in the background. Jeez Louise. Hopefully if you like the content enough, like, feel free to drop into a Twitch stream. I'll be streaming some Euro Truck Simulator 2, Metal Can Truck, Going Simulator, Office Simulator, stuff like Geo... Oh, just about, just a whisker away. Yeah, some Geo Gasser, 
all kinds of things really. I'm gonna get a capture card so I can play some Xbox games. Sort of like all kinds of stuff really, adventure games. Uh, some GTA 5. Be interesting to see what, what you lot are into. So. And I also want to play, it's not really a bad new game, I think it's been out for a couple of years. But it looks pretty interesting to play, and it looks quite satisfying. Like, it's called House Flipper, if you've heard of it. Whoa, this road is so super bumpy. The other game is called House Flipper, and you sort of... Wow, look at this, like Soviet, Soviet Russian, Soviet style type decor going about. A whole like little tram lines above the roads. It's pretty neat. Seems pretty authentic. Not that I've ever been here, but there's a YouTuber who I watch who loves this type, this part of the world. Like Bold and Bankrupt, if you've ever heard of him. He sort of travels about to different parts of the world, sort of lesser known parts, shall I say, to parts you don't really see on travel shows or like where like not many tourists go there like that's the type of place he goes to so it's really really interesting to oh it looks like there's a train Let's stop it he's just telling me to stop <laughs> oh, yeah, i've got the barrier down now so that's stop it Let's see where this train is shall we oh, wow. bit of a cargo train let's go She's so cool. It's not that long. I was expecting it to be like a kilometre long or something. I know how big big trains can get some of the time. Here we see I bought bankruptcy. Oh, nine percent damage from what? I didn't hit anything. That barrier was all the way up, surely. Oh, I can't afford to repair my truck. I just can't. I don't know what I'm going to do. The map stops here. I think it's left here, not quite sure. Let's go left and see. I must to stop. I've got to be careful with these barriers now. Maybe it was a little type, like little hitbox or something. I'm going to be careful with the train here. Is it's no tree. Quick. Oh wait, is that a tree now? No. Yeah, I've got to be careful with these trains now. And the barriers. I'm not sure why the barrier did damage to me, but yeah, it did. So. Oh well. Yeah, look at my money now, it's minus 2,000. I think some money must have come out for the loan or something. Maybe it comes out at mid midday, so... Yeah. Wait, let's get on the ferry, let's... Oh, wow. Got a few different locations. I think we're going to the bottom one. If I'm not mistaken. So that goes to there. Okay. Wow, that's miles away. No, so it's this one we're going to Greece and then we can get this ferry across to one of these places. Oh wow, Cyprus is in the game. Cyprus, there's so many, so many countries in this game, it's insane now. The map mods have added twice the amount of space and roads and sort of landmarks, locations. Quite impressive, isn't it? Well, let's get. I think we just hop on to the same boat or something. So we're in. We've discovered this place in Greece. But if we just do this, yeah, I think we can go on for ferries. Ferry from here. We just need to work out where it's to. So that's where we're going. I think we want Ashdod. There you can. Yeah, it must be Ashdod. Let's go there. Another 37 hours. That's why the journey was so long. 37 hours on the boat. So it was about 58 hours in the last episode for the remaining drive. Well, not, not driving time, but for the remaining journey time. So this is 37 hours of it gone just in a matter of seconds, really, as you can see. This colour flower 
This cauliflower, surely it'll be mouldy. By the time it gets to Engardi, it'll be a bit off. It would have gone mouldy, rotten. Surely. This took, this took pretty much three days to transport it in a truck. So, apparently, if you're not getting very fresh cauliflower in the Middle East, I would have thought. If you can't grow cauliflower in the Middle East and there's demand for it, surely you'll just get a plane or something. Oh, wow, what's going on there? Some little doggies. Is it a dash hound? Oh, it's real. Golden Retriever, is it? Must be a police Golden Retriever. That's so, so cute. Um, am I driving on the... I think I'm driving on the right here. Israel. Surely Israel. Drive something right. Well, let's find out, shall we? Yeah, so, as I was saying a while back, um, yeah, I watch it's Bold and Bankrupt's the channel. He goes to sort of places that tourists don't. Like Soviet stuff, he loves stuff. Just going into Soviet bus stations or train stations or meeting for local people. It's a really good channel. I recommend it if you're into that type of thing. I can't seem to get off this hill. Struggle in the back. There we go. Let's get me show on the road too. So, looks like we've got about two more hours of driving, so it should be a nice sort of 20, 25 minute video. Going through Ashdod. So this is a completely new territory for me on Pro Mods. I've never been around here before. Never downloaded through Middle East mods before, so it's gonna be quite interesting to see what it's like and see how it compares to the rest of Pro Mods and the base game of ETS2. ETS2 obviously standing for Whoa. There's a bump in the road there. ETS2 standing for Euro Truck Simulator 2 obviously. I need to get over these hurry up. Anytime now, that'll be nice. Yeah, so it looks like we're joining the, the main carriageway now. Looks like we should just get to the destination just before. Let's get across as well. I don't, I know. We don't want to end up in the petrol station, do we now? Yeah, it looks like this. Wow. That plane coming in, so 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 much is happening. They can't even speak about the same topic <laughs> for more than a minute. Get across and let these people in. Oh no, I need to get across. Car. That plane looks insane coming down. Oh, going up is it? I can't quite tell. Surely is a. Uh, it looks like the seas that way. So it must have just took off from. Oh, to the right. The real life sun outside is so bright. <laughs> it's just insane. A bit cloudy all day, and then the time I go to film, it's just. Yeah, let's get across. It's just the sun is blinding now. It's typical, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this must be a. Yeah, I can see some. Wow, that plane just took off. Oh, that's so cool. We may have just caught someone off, but it was worth it to see the plane. <laughs> so we're going off here. There's a lot of sort of joining, merging motorways on this little journey. I quite like it. There is it up a bit, doesn't it, rather than just being on the same sort of roads at the same motorway for a few hours. Let's try and overtake these. Oh, bit tight. Whoa, that almost ended in disaster. I need to get across to the right again. Oh, go, isn't it? Jeez. Thank you. 
Oh, is this Jerusalem? So, what a holy city, isn't it? Whoa, a little car crash there. Someone definitely ran around that bend way too fast and just couldn't sort of keep it on the road. <laughs> Straight into the barrier. That's not what you want to do, is it? Oh, a bit of a freeze wall. What's going on there? Don't worry, that's not your YouTube video. That's, that's not your connection. Oh, it was just my game seriously freezing. And again, there must be some. My laptop seems fine. It might just be from that mod loading stuff in, potentially. It seems to be fine for now. What do we have here? It's just like a little. Oh, gosh. And I think I've just jumped the queue a bit. It stopped for inspection. Yeah, so maybe it's a bit of a border crossing. Well, let's stop. Mr. Security Man, how are you doing? Yeah, I think he said we can just go through. I think I heard him say. Let's just do that, shall we? West Bank. I wonder if that's... Is that a part of Israel? It's Israel in two parts or something? Not quite sure myself. Let's try and find out because I'm quite interested in some of geography and stuff, so that would be really quite interesting. Luckily, that truck just want to come across. That would be a good truck. No, no, I'm on the home stretch now. Only an hour to go. This journey is whizzed by. It was like just got on a move. But I'm almost there. Sea level, wow. So we're like. Almost below sea level. It's insane. There must be like a big hill or landmass between us and the sea. Hence why it's just so dry. Yeah, because we're going down the hill even more, so uh, we're definitely below sea level now. Oh, here we go. Minus 300 meters below sea level. I know I just went like 300 meters because it isn't in this game, but in real life. That, jerk, that little thing would be a lot longer. That sort of distance, so. You have a city of Jericho. Looks like we've got a little temple there. So far below sea level. I'm talking about the sea. Is this a little. You have a Dead Sea. I never knew the Dead Sea was below normal sea level. Like, loads. It's actually a more interesting journey than I thought. I thought we wasn't going to see the Dead Sea, or it was just going to be a bit of a land's journey. After getting past uh, the first sort of southern map, but it's been a really nice, lovely journey. Up the Dead Sea. I think you can float in it, can't you? Like it's got such a high salt, sodium, sodium or salt. It's, it's the same thing. It's got a high salt count, so basically it just means your body floats. Yeah, it just seems like a really cool place. Oh, is that it's either the Dead Sea or the Red Sea? They always get confused between the two. It's one of them where you can just float around, you can just relax and lie down whilst reading a book, say. I'm not going to try and overtake, especially when there's a car going that fast. Okay, let's give the truck in front of a bit of space. Don't want to end up crashing into the back of it. I'm just going to whack on my lights as well. Just so I can actually see. Well, I've got my full beams on, but they're not real like drivers. And it's better for me because I can see more. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Looks like we've got another little checkpoint here. Just before we get to our drop off point. What's going on here? There we go, stop for inspection. I mean, no one is stopping, everyone's just driving super slowly through. So, we're not very good at reading signs, are we? Over here, apparently. Oh, my little dog. I'm going to stop anyway. Stop to. Say hello to the dog. 
very sweet. Nice. Let's finish the journey. I'm back in this way right now, so. It must have been West Bank is another country or something. Oh, it's so annoying. It's just starting to speed up as soon as I've got my long sides here. Trying to overtake and both. Yeah. So I've managed it. It's getting really dark here. It's a nice sort of like purple haze. I think. Purple haze? That's a cocktail, isn't it? Let me get some cocktail in. Pops and that in Britain. Yeah, but it's a lovely little drive along for Dead Sea. Finish up the journey. Looks quite purple and a lovely little view, isn't it? I just noticed something. There's actually a sign here saying the lowest place on earth. So I'm just gonna just make my way down here. See what this is all about. I've not been down here before, the cut was just so I could just take the, the screenshot for the video, as you can probably tell. So, oh wow, world's lowest point. 416 meters below sea level. That's insane. 416 meters. That's crazy. I don't know how, how is this not, not sort of filled with water or anything? It's insane, isn't it? Really damaged wall. Clever, is it? <laughs> yeah, the tight, tight little turn around spot, that's insane. Who would have thought this, this journey was so interesting? Such a lovely ending as well. I actually love this map mod so so much. And I hope you've all enjoyed the journey along with me. It looks like there's a little airport up there as well. Which looks pretty good. Hope maybe we can explore that in the next episode. See where that takes us. Anyway, let's drop off this trailer here. The cauliflower. If it's not gone off already. It probably will do once it gets to the supermarkets and the, the end customer. <laughs> Probably have like a few hours to eat it. Um, what do we want to do? Let's just play it safe for now. It's, it's getting late. It's saying it's almost about quarter to nine, so let's get top to top in bed. Let's just bring it. There we go. It's a nice little stop. It's not very straight, but. Apparently that's acceptable. So let's attach that. So wow, we almost drove 500 kilometers. So quite quite a long journey. 80 hours. 80 hours. That is insane. 80 hours over three days. We for quite a lot of fuel, but as expected. So yeah, ignore the level by the way. I just increased my level just so I'm able to. Of buy what truck I want for the YouTube video, hopefully for your enjoyment. If you want to see me do a real life pro or a, a profile without sort of like a, not a research profile where I'm sort of using infinite amounts of money or levels, then you can hop over to my Twitch stream. I'm doing a a no sort of modded or it's gonna have mods on like map mod and stuff like that, but it's not gonna have money cheats or levels from that. I'm starting from scratch from level one with nothing in my bank and just getting all the money into levels legitly. Hopefully you can come and enjoy the content and I'd love to see, see you all over my Twitch stream. If you don't know about my Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash forward slash, yeah, that's it. We did I'll try to work out what a forward slash was in a previous episode, part one of this Colourflower Chaos thing. And yeah, so it's twitch.tv forward slash icy eagle tv. So come over and drop us a follow if you want to watch some more. But well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I certainly did making it. It was such a good journey. And 
such a, such good scenery and so amazed and I can't wait to make more on promos. So watch out for that. If you want to see it, then you might as well subscribe because you'll get notifications of when my new videos are out. So that would be greatly appreciated. But well, thank you for watching. Goodbye.